I'm speaking with Steve Parente, an adjunct scholar at AEI, professor at the University of Minnesota. Steve, everybody wants health information technology. They say they do, it's, it sounds wonderful. We haven't gotten there thus far. Um, is there a way to get to this widespread adoption of such technology, which promises many things, but it seems to bog down in the implementation stage? There's a way to do it, uh, but it's going to take a little bit of out-of-the-box thinking. Um, the administration, I think, has prioritized this as a good goal. At the 30,000-foot level, even maybe the 50,000-foot level, great idea. The implementation, though, is bogged down with a lot of minutia that could actually slow things down. There's a different approach that could be taken that uses the existing infrastructure that's currently in place. It could actually take lessons that are learned directly from the technologies of the financial services industry and put something together that's much more consumer-centric that regardless of what happens with the reform legislation will actually enable a much more robust system. Now you've written a uh, paper for our Beyond Repeal and Replace mm -hmm. project uh, calling it a back to the future uh, approach to uh, getting a real-time infrastructure for this. This seems against the grain of what everybody's been busily beavering away at, or at least consulting on, uh, on this grand project. Uh, can we uh, break off in another direction and get what we want? I, I think we can. I mean, if you, if you take a look at the current direction that the administration is going into, which is really this interoperability, peer-to-peer -peer design, uh, we can go back to prior business models. And so in, in, in that case, we're talking about the Napster peer-to-peer -peer model. That didn't necessarily work as well as everyone is expecting it to work in terms of getting things to go. Um, what you really need is something that actually puts more structure onto the system and have the incentives operate the right way. In the financial services industry, that actually did come into place where the banks themselves and the credit bureaus actually paid for the system. It didn't require federal stimulus to actually put that system into place. It could be done with existing systems and other components. One last thing to note is that in the case of China recently, they have taken another back to the future consumer, the VA systems, and more or less used that architecture to put together a real-time cloud-based electronic health record for 100,000 providers. They did it without the encumbrance of having all these legacy systems. And I think if people take a step back and say, if we really want to do this quickly, another nation has proved it's possible to do and then let to use the Apple term, let the applets follow once the infrastructure is in place. Sometimes you've said this is a combination of a lot of money but still inadequate bribes to get people to do this. Uh, it comes down to the doctors being willing to come forward on this but also provide some more information. How do we make that link with a different incentive structure? Well, the doctors are being asked to essentially take money to buy electronic medical record systems, which honestly they should be buying anyway, and many of them do as part of their cost of doing business. Um, what uh, this is proposing is to say, what if the doctors have a different financial incentive, which right now they get paid both by the commercial payers and the Medicare payers uh, a time lag of anywhere between 30 to 65 days. In the case of Medicare, it's a prompt pay law of 30 days. Um, if you were to say instead, we can be paid in days, if not perhaps you know, close to minutes, if you attach some of the clinical data in, basically take the insurance data and sort of perk it up with the clinical data necessary, and use those IT platforms and to move the information out, that could get the providers the right incentive to basically put that information in without having to spend a lot of money and the government to spend a lot of money at the same time. Thanks for talking to us today, Steve Parenti. The health IT isn't in the regular mail. Maybe it'll be coming to your desktop or doctor's office or your portable device a little bit sooner. Thanks a lot, Tom. Okay.